What's, What's up, Crusaders? Crusaders? My name's Janelle. And my name is Jose. And you're, you're watching, watching HC News. News. There'll be a flex day on Thursday the 26th due to our annual HC open house, which will start at 6 p.m. There's a pro day day on Friday, January 27th. No school! Woohoo! <laughs> Next Monday will be the start of our second semester. The block rotation for day one is D, C, B, A, and the block rotation for day two is H, G, F, E. Now here's an episode from Simply Green. But first, one more thing. Who do you want to represent your grade in SLT? Check your emails for a Google form to vote for your grade representatives. Voting closes Monday, January 30th at 3 p.m. Vote wisely. What's up, Crusaders? My name is Gabe. My name is Jake. And my name is Aiden. And welcome back to Simply Green. In today's episode of Simply Green, we will be talking about transportation and how we can keep the environment clean with some eco-friendly alternatives. For instance, someone living in Burnaby needs a reliable form of transportation if their workplace or school is in Surrey, and having your own car is the most reliable option. But having a car is very expensive. On top of the price, there's insurance, gas, and expenses of many other inconveniences you may have with your vehicle throughout its usage. The average person spends between $150 to $200 on gas each month. However, your total costs on fuel depend on factors like where you live, how much you drive, and the fuel grade you use for your car. And of course, on top of all of this, burning gasoline or diesel fuel creates harmful byproducts like nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and a bunch of other negative things that pollute the air. But as we know, most of us aren't actually able to drive yet, leaving public transportation as another option being more eco-friendly than using a personal vehicle. By doing so, we reduce our carbon footprint as a whole. For example, 10 people commuting by public transit would use up substantially less fuel than 10 people using separate cars on their way to school, thus producing less gases resulting in a reduction of air pollution. Now if you really want to reduce pollution or find a car in public transit is too expensive, we have another option. Not only will this option be healthier for you, but it will also be healthier for the environment. Walking and biking are obviously the least convenient ways of transportation and also are not very safe during certain times of the year. So we don't recommend doing these all the time, but at least do these as much as you can. That's all for now. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's episode of Simply Green. Make sure to follow HG Goes Green on Instagram and HG Goes Green official on TikTok. That's all for now. Bye, Bye Holy Cross. Cross. Make sure to follow Crusader Connect and all Holy Cross social media accounts to get up to date with any Holy Cross related affairs. That's all for now. Bye, Bye Holy, Holy Cross! Cross.